Hey guys, teach you uh, how to do a chest trap in soccer. Uh, so this is, I think, one of the uh, one of the funniest traps that, that people do when they do it wrong. So I want to teach you uh, the the basics of, of actually how to how to do it right. Uh, so what you want to do is is think of it like if you ever played that that egg tossing game where you throw it to your partner and you kind of have to cushion it. That's the same thing you do with any trap in soccer. So it doesn't matter if you're trapping it with your foot or uh, or with your neck or anything like that you want to actually kind of brace the ball. Um, so again, I'm going to have Chaz kind of throw one here and kind of show you what you want to do. So when you chest trap it, uh, chest trap it with either the, either the center or uh, if you want to have kind of a little bit more control, I would move it up a little bit um, to the side. For me, it's it's the right side is where I like to, to chest trap it. So go ahead, a little bit higher. So again, so again, you know, just chest trap it. And you'll see me kind of like, I'll kind of, take some of the power off of it which will help it drop down so that's usually if I'm going into space but if I'm chest driving right right below me you know just let it hit you you don't need to like you know throw your chest out or anything like that because you don't want it again you don't want it to just you know go go too far out so again you want to really just uh, just try and and kind of brace the ball and then throw it right back down to your foot so yeah, go ahead. you know so that's that's the basics of, of how to do it. And then what you want to work on, you know, go back and forth with uh, with a, with a partner or with a teammate or something like that. But then you want to start working on uh, chopping into space, chopping where you want to go. Because a lot of times, if there's a defender coming straight at me, you know, I don't want to chest trap it right here. You should see him coming. And then you know, if you need to chest trap it away, you know, chest trap it away and get away from him and go into space. So, uh, so those are some of the things you need to be to be concerned with and and really practice because that's what's going to enable you to to kind of have what they call like a sticky foot on the ball. But obviously in this in this case, what that means is is you're keeping the ball collectively right near you. It's always within you know a yard radius where you always have control of the ball, and that's what you want to do with a chest trap. So remember that you actually you know let the ball do the work. You don't need to always just go after it or anything like that, but just let it hit you and just drop right down. Or if you need to go into space, turn, hit, and go into space. Um, you know, just think of in terms of kind of like angles where you want to go with it. So, again, that's uh, that's how to do a chest trap in soccer. Uh, if you got any comments or anything, leave them leave them below in the comment box. Also, don't forget to like and uh, or rate it and subscribe up here. And uh, I think the subscriptions up here somewhere getting somewhere up here anyway you know where it is uh but anyways uh subscribe leave some comments i'll be happy to come by and answer them if you if you have it i like to interact with you guys and help you guys out as much as possible uh if you want a video uh to check out of how i went from an average soccer player to playing professionally as well go ahead and click the link right below this video right now and and you'll kind of see that so thanks for checking it out i'll see you guys in the next video